and welcome to a bit of a unique video. Never done anything like this before. I'm gonna walk you through some camping gear. We've done a lot of camping on this travel, specifically 18 months of camping out of our vehicle. There's probably, uh, I'll put a video up here. But we spent a lot of times at campsites, campgrounds, those might be the same thing, and saw a lot of cool gear out there, but I stumbled onto quite a bit more showing the best of 2024. Whew, that rhymed, pretty pumped about that. All right, here we go. First up, the click chair. I'm assuming I'm going with the fact that it makes a click noise when it opens. This chair looks pretty rad. About the size of a water bottle. It opens with a breeze. I mean, really great for camping, hiking, all of that. But I mean, you could take this anywhere. Keep it in your car, go to a soccer game, concert, really anywhere you need to sit. I'm sure this click camping chair would be a quality product to bring along. I mean, they just make these things so small. I think it's three pounds I read, so can't really go wrong with this click camping chair product one we're doing it next up survive wear storm proof matches holy crap that was a mouth load mouth full what i've seen these matches before I've never actually purchased them but these things last in the wind uh, in the rain and I mean you see right in this video they actually last underwater not sure how the chemistry works on that but these are probably not a bad thing to have while you're camping while you're outdoors keeping on your person at all time I mean it should be cell phone wallet and these matches that's really I mean what else do you need and next up camping rocket stove not sure if the name comes from it kind of looks like a could be a weird shaped rocket, uh, but this stove's super portable, kind of cool looking. You don't need propane or gas. Throw some kindling in the bottom, light it up with the new matches you just purchased. Then you have a little stove at your campsite, cook over it, use it for heat. Um, it's made by Star Blue. Never heard of that brand, but I mean, Star Blue, it kind of sounds like a, like a rocket, something Bezos would own. I, I don't know. Cool product though, I'm into it. Next, this product is on another level of bougie. It's called the Salty Barrel. It's like cold plunge, except opposite, which is a hot tub. But you take this thing on the go, just light up a little fire, heat some water up, get things moving, and then just like that, you have a hot tub at your campsite in the woods. I mean, this is pretty cool if you think about it. You definitely would be the coolest guy or girl, human, at the campsite. No doubt about that. And it would be pretty awesome too. Do a little cold plunge action in the freezing cold glacier water. Heat up in the salty barrel. Good for the muscles. Hiking the next day. I'm into it. Next, the Century... <sighs> Gotta look this name up again. This is a long name. Century, Century Tactic. Century Tactical Automatic Trip Alarm System. Whew. I mean, essentially this is just a trip wire around your camp. Seems a little like uh, military-ish, but they're not explosion explosions. I think they're just uh, little snappers or gunpowder. Honestly, this is pretty cool. I mean, at first I was thinking like raccoons and rodents, but then even, you know, creepers, like, like weirdos coming into camp that you wouldn't want, or, or probably what more people would think about is bears, but came to my mind last. Either way, this would make you feel really safe if you went the distance and purchased one of these. Seems a little extra, but cool idea nonetheless. Next product, the Stargaze Recliner Luxury Chair. I mean, just look at this thing. It's clearly friggin' comfortable. It's got a nice carrying case. It's made by Nemo, which is a great brand. I don't think I really need to sell this chair. It's just if you decide that you need another chair because obviously <laughs> the click chair, we already talked about it. But obviously what you're getting with this chair is that swing action. There is something about just kind of like that rocking chair movement that just really takes you to another level of relaxation. So probably should buy that or I should buy that. Someone might need it, probably me. Next product. If you own a Toyota Tacoma, this product's for you. If you don't, just skip to the next product because you need a Tacoma. This is a Toyota Tacoma sports trailer and it comes with everything you need to be awesome because you own a Tacoma, but then to sleep and shower and cook and really just live outdoors. So no tents needed. I mean, screw the camper van. Those aren't even cool anymore. Just kidding. But really, the whole thing's converted to just uh, be fully set up to live outdoors. I don't, there's nothing really more to this one. I mean, you can watch the video for a second and see how cool it is. I mean, some crazy engineers worked this thing out. I don't know the price. It's probably insane expensive, but it is cool. Okay, next product. Okay, this is the first product that I think is dumb. Sorry, sorry, I just... I'm not all positive optimistic. This is called the Hipstar traveling cart or something. It doesn't even matter. This is just if uh, you don't want to wear a backpack, I guess. But let's be honest, those wheels are just going to get caught on everything and you're going to become sore in a different part of your body. So 
I mean, I feel bad. I mean, I mean, someone designed this and they probably, you know, maybe it's making money. I don't know, but I'm not a fan of this product. I think it's lame and uh, you probably look like a weenie. If I passed someone on, on, you know, the trail, I'd be like, what the heck is that? Whew, I feel like a bad person, but don't like this product. Pass, next. Okay, this product is not revolutionary or new, but I swear these sleeping pads just keep getting lighter and more breathable. I love the brand Nemo. I feel like it's definitely getting overshadowed by the movie and always will be, but they make quality products. This one's incredible from a lightweight standpoint. It has something called axiotomic foam. I saw that in the details, thought I'd read it out here. It make me sound smart, but you guys can all tell I'm I'm just, I have no idea what that means. Probably biodegradable or something. Eh. Has great insulation, great for cold weather camping. Awesome quality sleeping mat. Up next, the Grand Teton Camper Box. This thing's sweet, honestly. If you don't got the money to get a full out camper van or even one of those cool Tacoma trailers, this is what you need. You have storage, everything that you need to cook and rinse off your food, a full on mattress that you can pull out into the back of your car, a cooler. I mean, this is definitely just like a weekend warrior camper's dream. Doesn't break the bank, it has everything you need. It's not the flashiest thing in the world, but super practical. I want one of these. I don't need one, but I think I need, I think I, I think I have to have one. Next product. The Frontier Plus, a very durable, lightweight, portable wood burning stove. Great to heat up a campsite, obviously fantastic for cooking. Take camping out of it. This could be a perfect just for like a shed, small home, a yurt, I don't know. They advertise this as something that you would take camping with you. I don't know if I would lug this around in a backpack or a carrying case, but if you're into that, could be great. Either way, looks like an awesome product. I'm sure it is. This this one is one of my favorites, and I don't think I'm gonna pronounce this right, but the Trainendrief, Trainendleaf, Trainendleaf. This was invented, big surprise here, by an artist. You can kind of see how they're hung. They look like teardrops, super vibey. Have no idea how you go about buying one of these or what it looks like to get these installed on your property, but super unique, super cool. Not sure if it really fits in the category of the title of this video, like camping gear, but I love them. It's like, uh, it's like it's a little tent that hugs the tree and you're like probably just feel like a koala in there. Super private, very insulated. I'm sure it's like a great little secluded getaway. I don't know, love it. Okay, a few more. You have the all-in-one hammock tent. Cause let's be honest, if you've ever tried to sleep in a hammock, and I'm not even saying they're uncomfortable. I personally think hammocks are comfortable. But something about the draft or the, the wind or the cold air, I always get cold, I always get rained on. There's never not bugs. And so this solves all that problem. It works like any other hammock. You suspend it between two trees. You hope those trees don't fall over. You look super awkward when you get into it and getting out. But again, this is like hammock 2.0. This is what, this is, this is, okay, this is the product I might actually buy after, you know, all this. You hope for a little bit of wind to kind of like rock you to sleep. Yeah, definitely getting one of these. Last product. And this is, um, this is, this is a good one because no one likes bugs. If you like bugs, well, if you like mosquitoes, you're kind of, mm, might have some issues. This gadget will keep those mosquitoes at bay or it's supposed to, never used it, but the reviews are great. It's equipped with the latest dual repel technology, whatever that means. Nevertheless, this thing is intense. There's technology involved. It's not some little spray you put on. Again, I mean, there's a bazillion different ways to repel mosquitoes, but this seems like the one that is the most futuristic and probably kind of expensive, so you can guess that it's gonna work. Again, the reviews are great on it. It has a 360 degree defense to it, so kind of probably put it in the middle of the campsite and that's just inadvertently getting rid of all the mosquitoes. You, you sit under that thing and it's like a bubble around you. Okay, that is everything I have for you. Hopefully that was fun and helpful and, or you know, or you just learned some stuff. Learned about products that you didn't know were on the market. So many awesome inventors out there creating cool gear so we can be more comfortable outdoors, which I'm not sure is the point, but either way, fun to do research on and look into. If you've enjoyed this and you want more product reviews and fun videos, go ahead and subscribe and like and comment. But if you have to pick one of those, just subscribe. That's, yeah. Until next time, see you later.